new details this morning in a police shooting on the northeast side. We brought this story to you as breaking news yesterday right here on Daybreak. Now police say three officers shot at the man who was parked outside of his grandmother's house when she mistook him for a stranger. News 8's Amisha Ramsey joins us live in our newsroom with the new information. Amisha, what are police saying happened? The police say the man was asleep in the vehicle when he had a gun in his lap before the shooting happened. The grandmother, who had no idea who the man was before, called police. Now, according to police reports, she saw a suspicious car parked in her driveway, which later turned out to be her grandson. Now, yesterday, just after 4 in the morning at a home on North Oxford Street, police got to the car and found a man sleeping in the woman's driveway with a gun in his lap, and the car had a Florida plate. So officers ran them, but nothing led the grandmother to believe she knew the person in the car. Now, according to police reports, officers tried to open the car door to take out the gun, but they were locked. So they knocked on the window and told the man to put his hands up. Police say the guy in the car woke up and was moving around. They say the man looked at officers and moved his arms towards him. It's not clear if a gun was in his hands. Now, police say the three officers fired shots at the man. The man did not fire any shots at police. Now, officers provided medical assistance, and he was taken to the hospital. It was later determined the person in the car was the homeowner's grandson, and he was driving a rental car. The caller did know the occupant of the vehicle. Uh, which makes this a, an even worse incident for all involved. Um, the circumstances that led up to the actual shooting specifically are still under investigation, uh, and we don't have in, any information on that. that so far, no arrests have been made, and the grandson is now recovering in the hospital, but expected to be okay. The officers involved are now on administrative leave, which is a standard practice, and the shooting is under a use of force review. I'm live in the newsroom, Misha Ramsey, wishtv, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.